YouTube, Autumn Beckman here. Welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel. Today I have gift ideas for you that are related to pets. What I did was go through a bunch of things that I have purchased over the last few years that I really love or things that I am putting on my wish list this year. Roxy's across the room. She's usually in the chair behind me, but she was just in the chair for half an hour with the last video I filmed. And I think she's tired of being back there. So at some point she may come jump in the chair and Baron is in his bed on the floor under my desk. All right, let's get started with gifts for pets. So the first one, I have bought this the last several years. I haven't bought them yet this year, but they're Fruitables dog treats and they're this vanilla snowflake flavor. And what this is, is these people who work for this company, they actually go up in mountains and collect snow and bring it back and put it into these dog treats. And I mean, it's just water really, right? But I thought that was such a clever idea and really cute for the holidays. So that would make a nice little treat for the pets. Next up, I'm asking for these this year as a stocking stuffer. This is a two pack of dog ID clips and silencers. So what that is is, you know how it's so difficult when you have dog tags to get them on the rings and get them on the D ring on the collar. And then if you wanna switch out collars, like maybe you wanna put on a holiday collar, it's it, like you break your fingernails and it's so hard to get the things off. So this is a little clip, like a little C clip that you put the tags on there and then you just take the clip on and off the collar. It makes it so much easier. And then the silence is a little, silencer is a little um, rubber piece that you put between the tags so you don't hear them jangling when the dog is moving. So I thought that would be clever and useful and it's only 650, so it's a nice little gift for someone. The next piece is something that I bought for my sister and her dogs last year. They live now in a neighborhood, but they were out more in a rural area where it was very dark at night, like pitch black at night. So these are little lights that you clip to your dog's collar and they can blink slowly or quickly, or they can just stay on and that helps them find their dogs at night. This is also great if you take your dog out for walks um, really early or late at night when it's still dark out. It's a good safety thing to have. The one that I'm listing here for you is a six pack of different colored lights and it's $14. And it also comes with this little metal tube that you can clip around and it has like a, an opening. You can unscrew it and put a piece of paper in there with information um, if your dog gets lost or something. Here's Roxy. Yeah, you're so sweet. You're tired of sitting in here, aren't you? Yes, I want to go do some fun things, Mom. Next on the list, I'm so glad that I have a girl dog now because I can buy things like this. This is for the fans of my channel who like Louis Vuitton stuff. This lady, or I don't know if it's a lady, I assume. Um, it's a shop called Love Dog Haas, House Haas, H-A-U-S. They're on Etsy and they have this Louis Vuitton dress, they have a Chanel dress, they have other ones, and these run $54 plus. But if you're into those brand names and if you're on my channel, you probably are, then that could be a really cute gift for someone else's dog or your dog. Next on my list is this four inch memory foam dog bed. I was going to get one of these for Sebastian and then he got sick and his time ran out. So I didn't have a chance to get one. I was gonna get it when we moved and then all that stuff happened. These two dogs don't really need it, but he needed it because he was old and skinny and I wanted him to be just really comfortable. The small size starts at 70 or is $70 and then these run up to jumbo size. It was like 50 by 40 inches or something. That's for a Great Dane, right? That one ran $240, but it's four inches of memory foam. I like to get really comfortable dog beds for my pups. I usually just get dog beds at TJ Maxx and I'll get small ones because I have small dogs, but I make sure that they're really plush and comfortable and this one sure looked like that. So if you have an older dog, this would be a great option. It's expensive, but it would be a great option for them. This is one of my favorite things in the world. It is the Pet Gear Stroller. I have this, I've had it for about four years now. It's a little pricey too, but it's a really nice stroller. You can get cheap ones, but they're cheaper they're they're mm. this one is comfortable for the dogs it has this little padded bed in it it's big enough to fit two dachshunds comfortably and three if they're squashed we've done that before with my mom's dog she might get one of these for christmas by the way it comes in turquoise that happened to be the cheapest one that's the one i'm linking here it's uh two two hundred and sixteen dollars and what's really great about this is it has a padded handle that's comfortable for you to grip when you're going on long walks. And the best thing is it has air inflated tires. So it goes over 
rough spots and the roads and sidewalks really easily and it doesn't jolt the dogs too much. I got the stroller for Sebastian when he was starting to get old. So he was maybe 11 or so when I got it for him. And we've used it in so many ways. We used it as a little Mardi Gras float for the dog parade in Galveston. That was fun. I, I love that stroller. I can't say enough about it. If you're looking for a dog stroller, I highly, highly recommend that one. And when we go out with the dog stroller, we always need to take a water bottle because we're in Houston and it's usually pretty darn hot here. The one that I have, I got at a dollar store or something, but it's very similar to this one. I wanted to link one for you. That could be a great stocking stuffer for an animal. My dogs have stockings, do yours? This one runs $12 and you just open it up and squeeze the water into the little bowl and they drink out of there. This is something that I really want to do for Roxy here because I don't know what she is. Hello, I don't know what you are. I want to do the a DNA test for her. There are several different brands. I've heard this one is a good one. This one is currently running $159. I'm hesitant to spend that much on it, but maybe you won't be. So I wanted to link that in case anybody's interested in trying to find a really nice gift for a pet lover. I'm so curious what she is. I think she's Dachshund and some kind of terrier, but I'd like to know for sure. So. Someday, Roxy, I think we're gonna get you tested, get your DNA done, figure out what you are. She says, I'm adorable, that's what I am. It doesn't matter what else. That's all that matters, is I'm adorable. It's true, she's right. And the last thing, this is a gag gift. So this is just an empty box. There are several different ones of these, but I threw this one in because it's pet related. So again, it's just an empty box, so you put the real gift inside of it, but they open it up and they think, well, this is weird. You really got me this. And then they open it up. But I thought that was funny. And our family likes to do gag gifts and stuff like that. So I threw this in there. This just for the box, it's $8. So it's really overpriced, but it's fun if you want to do something like that. That's it for the pet gifts. Thank you so much for watching. Roxy says thanks too. Remember to like the video if you found this helpful and hit the subscribe button if you haven't done that already and the bell notification icon if you would like to see more videos from us. Thanks so much for watching. Have a fantastic day. Bye.